Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Under the Moon, A Catwoman Tale. Now, this is a graphic novel written by Lauren Miracle, illustrated by Isaac Goodhart, and published by DC Comics, but under an imprint called DC Inc., which seems to be an imprint that they're using to publish stuff that's more geared towards young adults, like YA fiction. Now, this was published in 2019, and it's based on the character of Selina Kyle, better known as Catwoman from the Batman mythos. Now, Under the Moon is a retelling of Selina Kyle's origin, taking place when she's a teenager, before she would end up becoming Catwoman. Now, this does seem to be set outside of the mainstream continuity, so this is specifically Lauren Miracle's version of Selina Kyle. But the story follows Selena Kyle at age 15, and she has a really bad home life. Like, her mom's boyfriend is extremely abusive towards her. He even locks her in the closet whenever she pisses him off. Something ends up happening that is basically the final straw for Selena, so she ends up running away from home and living on the streets. Ultimately, she ends up meeting these kids who are really into parkour, and this is supposed to be how, at least in this continuity, how she ended up learning how to break into places with such cat-like agility. Also in the story, there's a serial killer going around Gotham City, but I will say that plot point really doesn't amount to much. Now, I definitely thought Under the Moon was an interesting read. I think the story had some problems, but overall it was a good book. It's definitely in the tone of a YA novel, which isn't typically my genre, but I have read a few good YA books. I will say, do not be expecting your standard superhero fare with this. This is much more of a coming-of-age story that just happens to feature characters from the Batman mythos. The book does deal with some pretty heavy themes like child abuse and domestic violence and self-harm, but I think because the story was written for teens, it probably doesn't go as far with those themes as maybe it could have. In the story, there's this little girl named Rosie who's part of the group that Selena Kyle joins, and she doesn't talk, and she gets very violent when people try to touch her. Like, she doesn't like physical contact at all. Now, Rosie's backstory is pretty fucked up, but not as fucked up as I was initially imagining when the whole thing came out about her not wanting to be touched. Like, my mind immediately went to somewhere much darker than what's presented in the story. Now, I'm not saying the story needed to go there or even should have went there, but that's immediately where my mind went when she got really violent when people tried to touch her. I will say Selena and Rosie's relationship relationship in the story is actually really sweet. Now, some of the issues with this book, there are a few things that are a little ham-fisted or a little on the nose, like Bruce Wayne shows up in this story, he goes to Selena's high school. Now, the whole idea of Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne knowing each other as teenagers has certainly been played around with before. I know the show Gotham really plays around with that idea. In this book, it comes off a little cheesy, though, where it's like, okay, they knew each other when they were little kids, but ended up drifting apart, and in high school, Selena has a crush on Bruce Wayne. Also, there's a part where Bruce tells Selena about how his parents were murdered, and this is a big revelation to her, but it's like, how the hell did she not know about that? Like, Bruce comes from the richest family in Gotham, and in every other Batman continuity, Thomas and Martha Wayne were supposed to be, like, famous people. So it would have been big news when they were murdered. Also, the villain of the story, the serial killer, his role really doesn't amount to anything more than a subplot. Like, it seems like the serial killer is only there for there to be a scene where Bruce saves Selina from him to illustrate that this kid will eventually become Batman. But, minor flaws aside, Under the Moon is a pretty good graphic novel. Admittedly, I might not be the target audience for this, but it's not bad, and I would recommend it if you're a fan of the Selina Kyle character or a Batman fan in general, even as just a one-time read. And I will say, Isaac 
Nick Goodhart's artwork is very well done. But that was my review on Under the Moon, A Catwoman Tale by Lauren Miracle, and bye.